We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique House. This is your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Mr. Maker. What's going on? Not none, you know, my dad walk on. Man, hey, man, you know, we still down here in New Orleans, man. And hey, man, we hey, we we going into everybody's hood, man. We trying to find everybody, and the streets is talking, man. They say, go this way, go that way. And you know what I'm saying? We went the right way, man. We over here, my boy Paco is in the building. What's going on? Wow, what's happening, man? <laughs> intro be going you know what i'm talking about man <laughs> i just get into it man because it's real man like you know when i came down there i ain't know you know i'm like who am i gonna see man who am i gonna get to talk to man yeah. new orleans is lit you know what i'm saying what all they got the jazz fest it's three different festivals going on that's right that's what we heard what's all going on in this it's, town it's jazz fest weekend to this weekend that's why the hotel room is so fucking high that y'all paid for. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> okay. all popping right i know like 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 it's popping like like everybody in the streets yeah, so it's not normally that high. Not like this weekend, but you know, gentrification got shit high. Mm. <laughs> You're right. Say, man. So just tell us, man, a little bit about yourself, man. Just growing up in New Orleans. Just give us a understanding on like, like how you, uh, you know, how you was raised. Yeah. What neighborhood? Like, we're not from here. Yeah. I mean, shout out to Dallas, Texas. We we out of Dallas, but then my wife from Jamaica, being I'm from the country, but we've been in Dallas for a long time. So yeah. just give us a spill on like how it was, and then I want pre Katrina and post Katrina too. Okay. Um, New Orleans, I, I, from my perspective, New Orleans. How it is, like you're, you're asking me like how it is now? No, like, how it was when you was coming up as a kid. Like, where did you live? I grew up what, uptown. What? I grew up uptown. You was uptown. Let me, let me I grew up uptown. Okay. And um, you know, I was my family from uptown. My daddy, my mama, we come from that way. So we grew up in the Cali area. Okay. So that's the same area. P from that. The Cali. You would think about Master P. Give a fuck about. You know, so oh, that's my. Niggas starting on that water water. Yeah. That nigga, yeah, yeah. We always listen <laughs> to water, Master water, P. Water. Like like water, this dude water. was different, man, for us. Like when we first started hearing saying them, hearing him say on the nine and nine, all this, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, it was different for I, I, and I, I remember that time. But so for you, it was a different time. You seen a different Master P, right? Like you that the first Master P. I the seen him when he was on top, you know. Exactly. When I was a kid, they were on top. They were exactly running everything. So so, just, so how did that make you feel to know that you were from the same place where Master P was from? Let's be real. I, I felt like I was a part of No Limit. I felt like I was there. I felt like I was. Really? Yeah, like, you know. you like, this, 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 he from here. Just like everything that go really big, <clears throat> everybody feel a part of it. You know, it's like, wow. Yeah. I'm No yeah. Limit. Not just they No Limit. I'm No, I'm limit. no limit. Yeah, I felt like that as a kid. So, so and basically, coming out, hearing the, the stories about, you knew it, and you, you was young, but as he lost a brother named Kevin Miller. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know because he said, you know, he always would say his names in the song. Yeah. That's how he kept him kept him alive, yeah. so to speak. Just his name, so that people would remember him. Yeah. And so you being a young kid, you know, you come out, then you hear about the C murder. You know, like his brother being gone, mm -hmm. like like all these stories you hearing them, and then the judicial system and all that stuff. What are you thinking? Um, to me, it's normal because you don't know nothing else. Okay. That's all you know. So it's like, I don't think nothing. I think this is what life is. I think this is like everything you think that's what it is. Okay. I but get it. But you know, it, there is a lot of killing. That's, that's jacking, carjackings right now, all of that. However, there is another side that they, we don't really talk about. Because everybody in the hood ain't kill five people this year <laughs> you know you would be led to believe everybody on oh, that it's hard and, it, and, that, and that's real but it ain't it's, it ain't just that they're like put your <laughs> put your wallet in your front pocket down there because they tripping over there on Look, french quarters you know what i'm talking about like, i've been in my whole life man i have never had a problem and i go anywhere i want that's because you run you come on man you come on man come on Paco. No, just, you you run the city like p diddy then it, it's just about how you how you moving 
How you, so you it's know it's, it's, it's got to be in you. If you got that, yeah, it's how you move. It's your energy. It's got to be in you, not yeah. on you. You you know this because you you know what it is to move up and down French quarters and all. It's like you just being around you earlier. You like when you go place, you already you know people know. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's always like that. Yeah, so that's that's cause you 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 know you New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. So when you first heard about the like the uh, the say. Wait, where was your, what about Birdman's movement during the High Boy era? Did you know a little bit more about that? I didn't know more. I mean, so when that started, I I do think that took it to another level, you know? Because No Limit was crazy with their sales, but the High Boys was like a, a kid backstreet boy from the hood group or something. Yeah. <laughs> You know, them boys yeah. was like... They were lit. Yeah, it was like that level. So I remember they had Teen Summit at... at Teen Summit was what we used to have when I was small. Okay. With like all the artists performing and No Limit and Cash Money. And I remember... I'm always No Limit, so I'm always like rooting No Limit. But I remember my auntie said, No Limit was a good, but when the high boys got up there, it was over, Paco. <laughs> she was right. <laughs> they, they had the city on. They had it was another level. It's because they 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 had came in after you know you got to realize. I remember uh, body body when it first came mm -hmm. out. You got to understand. I was around when that came yeah. out, and it gave a certain feel. And it's something that you can't touch. You can't. You couldn't tell me, hey man, uh, nothing during that era was yeah. better than what P Nim had did. King George and uh, all the all of the KLC, the Beast by the Pound, all yep. what they were doing, it was remarkable. Like we was watching it, man, and, and Matt, it was uh, the, I think the name was Magic. It was Mr. Magic. Uh, yeah, Mr. Magic. It was it was a bunch of man fiend. You know what I'm saying? It was slim. going down. So uh, Soldier Slim. But then fast forward to 19 about 97, 98. Mm -hmm. These niggas came out talking about. Uh man, and my ice top be bezeled up, and my pinky rib be trillion. And they was telling you really about everything they, got, everything, they sucked got, sucked everything they got, everything they got sucked up. Like my like I got all right. this nigga, and my ice can be bezeled up. And, 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 I'm a I'm a good eye, I'm a bust, and all, I'm like you know I'm a all this crazy stuff you know. Yep. And I said, damn, what is this? Man, I love Listen, as a rapper. I did not know what the hell it was. I'm just giving you. I'm painting yeah. a picture for you. Yeah, I'm listening. During this time, I had been a little bit, I had to sit down for a second, I had to sit down for a second. I come home and I'm like, what is this? These niggas tripping. I think just, they were ambitious. Birdman. talking that, be ambitious. You were just, about to say you like what, because a lot of people talk about Birdman, and like, rap. why he rap, he can't rap, why he just talking. But it was something about the way he would say things yeah. that made me love what he was saying. Because it ain't just what he's saying, it's his attitude in that. In music, you feel it more than you, sometimes you feel music, you don't, you're not saying it per se, but you just feel it. Like if I say, ah, <laughs> you know, you just, you know, I don't have to even explain what that means, you know? Yeah, yeah. And Stunner do that. Like, he I just. I loved it, bro. Because he really feel like he came not to be fucked with, you know? No, no, he can't. And he come across. Like, no, 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 no. Uh, no, it's, for with. me, it's real. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm saying like, he, he, he had to think that. And then you think it because he thought it so I much. Think it because it, I think it because he proved it. <laughs> yeah. The way he carried himself, the things he, he was doing, the way he came in the room. The what way I'm he saying. stood on the stage. I seen that nigga come to Dallas, man. And I seen that nigga, it was at a car show, right? Yeah. And this nigga was supposed to be up there on the stage, right? Yeah. And then nigga said, you know what, man? He said, man, I come down here to Dallas, Texas, man, and ride with you boys. I'm finna get out here and go look at some of these cars. Now, you got, a, you got all these people in here. He didn't have to do that, but you don't know what these niggas got. You don't know. That nigga came and walked in the whole crowd as he would move, was just moving with him. And that nigga did not... <laughs> care about none of that nothing yeah. he just that's hard bro it is or when he came to vegas if we was at magic and and we had magic or whatever and that nigga come in the room and that nigga energy right yeah you see what i'm saying you can't you can't make this up bro you yeah. you can't you you can't make it up so that was a heavy part so these i was just saying are two different phases and let me shut up because let me say something to my people that be following my channel we get excited over here right and we start talking because I love music and I'm here to 
kick it with Paco, and I'm in New Orleans, just so y'all know. And they be like, man, the interviewer this and that. I don't give a damn. Let me yeah. say that right quick yeah. because I'm here to have a good time. I'm glad you said that because <laughs> I love music too. Yeah, I don't, I'll be excited. I know music. <laughs> music itself, it, it's crazy being a person who do music. Sometimes that's not even <clears throat> what people are caring about. The music. <laughs> <It'd be> like, <laughs> that'd be like the last thing to worry about. We could go shopping. The music is the last part of the process. Like, if yeah. you think about it. Yeah, it is. We could have to go to sex and get popping. Musically, yeah. <laughs> some people just love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just it's interesting. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, some yeah. Just have fun. Yeah, okay. and that's cool. You know, you're like you could go. You know, your outfit might make your music better. It's crazy. But tell me how that phase <laughs> where did, was. Where did you? Oh, go ahead. I was going to ask about that phase for him before we get out of it. With with the phase in and phase out. After your after your aunt was your mom. Your mom. After she yeah. told you that, after you heard the bird man, the the, the hot boys. That was my auntie. That was told your me. Your auntie when she yeah. said that, and you say yes, yeah, she right. How did? <laughs> I, he's like, damn. Nah, I kind of, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't too mad at it because it's still losing. It's still yeah, New Orleans, and and a part of me liked it too. So like, you know, like yeah, like yeah, yeah, I ain't really, I can't really hate this. You know, I I, I wasn't hating on it, maybe a little, but then I was like, yeah, I like it too. I can't even fight it. Like this is <laughs> <laughs> what it is. So that was the time when BG and all of them was together. Was and my was, favorite hot boy, BG. Stop it, BG the one for me. Chopper City? For me, that's my favorite one. Cause ain't he, ain't he from Chopper, where's Chopper City? He from Uptown. Uptown, okay. Mm -hmm. So what? when he did, okay, I love the, the, and I'm not gonna stay on this long, but them boys, they they, they did good and then they got into it. <laughs> they yeah, would they have had a difference. Yeah. That's everybody. And then they tried to blame Birdman, which that pissed me off, cause I don't, I'm a boss, so when, when you go at Birdman, it's like you going at me. <laughs> I don't play by Birdman. I don't care if it's Jay Z. I don't care who it is. I don't care. It could be anybody. She know this because she hear me talk all the time. I don't play by Birdman, dog. I really don't play by people in the South, but I don't play by them. Like, you can't talk about them to me. I'm with you. You better find somebody else to talk about him with because I'm going to tell you a lie. <laughs> you can't I'm do no you. wrong. I'm with you. But so let's talk about uh, whatever Miss Jamaica want to talk no, about. <laughs> no, the only thing I was, say I was thinking, so. Um, <clears throat> When did you finally find your love for music other than, like, when did you start taking it serious, I should say? I've always loved music. I don't, I can't pick, I, I mean, since I, since I can remember, I love music. I don't even, you know, that's something I can't but think But when did of you start taking it serious? Because people can, you can love music, but when did you start to take it serious, as in, this is what I really want to do? Um, I must say, when I took music seriously, it's when I was with Young Greatness. I don't know if you knew that. What? But yeah, so. Bro. Maybe Young Greatness, which. I just asked somebody. I was like, find Young Greatness, family, somebody I want to interview. I'm his from. family. Are you so, serious? Not not by blood, but we like brothers. So me and Greatness were sitting God in the house. something else. Me and Greatness were sitting in the house and just like make music like 20 songs. And you know, um, and, and kind of like a, a, a a sibling rival. It's like I want to just fuck him up every day. We step, you know. Every time we do this, I'm trying to like Outdo be him. better than him. Mm -hmm. You know, and he talk a lot Is of shit. Is he older than you? Yeah, he older. Okay. He talk a lot of shit. So you know, it was always like sparring. You know, and he would kind of. I always felt like he couldn't fuck with me on the songs, but he could definitely talk a lot of shit and get <laughs> and get and get shit going from that that perspective. I'm gonna just talk shit <laughs> and get fly. <laughs> I was trying to like get on these songs and go crazy though, you know? Wow, I just was talking about him on the way down here. I was talking to, I think it was Jita, uh, the, uh, what's his name, Jita P or what? Mm -hmm. I, I was asking him, I was saying, do you know anybody from Young Great, cause he passed away, got killed, yeah. you know? I was like, do you know, you was, you was probably asleep, we was driving down. I was like, do you know anybody from his family? Mm -hmm. Cause I wanted to talk to him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, because, because of, of his legacy, because of who he is and because of yeah. what he does. That's not a deep thing. But, but to the question you're asking, that's when I took it seriously because he took it seriously. Okay. He, he took it that first. You know, he was really like really doing this. Like, yeah. I mean, in high school, he I remember he opened up for a Lil Wayne concert at the down the street from here when we were when he was in high school, you know, like and, I, you know, so it was like he was pushing for this before I was. I just 
I, I, I just loved the him. music before he did, but he really gave it a push first because I remember him first rapping for me, and, and then we kind of like was fucking with him about rapping because I'm like, I rap all the time, nigga. You just started this. Like, I was rap, you know, I don't have a, a start of rap. I was rapping right. since, your whole life. Yeah, I don't remember not rapping. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's dope. Yeah. So he's he's one of them ones when that song that Moolah get that man this yes. nigga man that song yes. listen bro when I start watching him I fell in love with his style bro mm -hmm. and it was just a heavy song all my life I hustled just to get that moolah yeah it's kind of yeah. going it's kind of soulful it's kind of yeah when I hear it now it give me like it just make me feel like he really gave it all for what he wanted like I mean this dude was literally possessed by what he wanted. You know, he was different than a lot of us at that at that age. He, I wanted to just rap. I wasn't even thinking about it. He was like going, rapping, going to the studio, getting his shit pressed up, you know? He was talking. He just, like stunning them. He just had, he had that, I'm gonna be the shit, I'm, I'm going, just a different energy at a younger age than most of us did. Did you, okay, you, how did you and him first, y'all went to school together? No, so his, his, now he older than me. Okay. My mama ended up living in Gentilly. Okay. Directly across the street from his mom. Okay. How old was y'all, when, 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 how old was he and how he, old was He you? was in high school. And you was in junior high? I was, yeah, I was like something like junior high. And y'all just yeah. always would talk with when brothers. You like literally, his grandma would talk to my. His mama would go by my grandma, who lived next door to us at that at that time. Where I'll ask you that off yeah. the line because I, I really that's serious with me. I, I definitely would love to talk to his people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just because I know that that's gonna push the legacy even more. His mom, whose family to me, she is still really frustrated about a lot of stuff. So that's why. I, it's kind of hard. I could talk about it probably for her. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's going to be hard for her to talk what about. Is the, what is the frustration? She feel like the city has shit with it. and you know, Like they knew what was going on with it. She was on the news in New Orleans saying, New Orleans just fucked up and, you know, just frustrated and rightfully so. Yeah, but that's a son. Hold on, hold yeah. on, hold on. Because I don't know anything about this, so y'all have to fill me Which, in. I'm, I'm how just, did he pass away? He was killed. At the Waffle House or something, right? Yeah. And I, how I long ago was this? This was about two, is it 20, two? I don't know now, 2017? 2017. Something and like they that. don't know who did it? Well, they got guys who was arrested on it. I don't know, you know. Yeah, yeah. We just, it's, just, it's just something that when you lose a son, yeah, and 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 you from a city that's supposed to embrace that son. That's the part. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And he's doing it for the city. Yeah, that's the part right there. Yeah, and you supporting the city, showing him love, and they acting like they love, but you gotta always remember in the midst of that love is some hate. Yeah, it is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The love can oversaturate you with this love, thinking everybody love you, but a lot of niggas hate you. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was like uh, somebody told us the other day, like. Y'all got y'all haters because people see you mm -hmm. and they see you movement and they just, some people just not gonna like that, bro. Because yeah. they wish they could be you a lot of times. I don't know, man, but I just, so Young Greatness was a, a dope artist from New Orleans that I followed, that I, you know how I am about music. Yeah. I it's don't so even have to say it, I just it love it, bro. It's the same. Me and him, he's such a, strong personality, we would always like go at it, you know, always. Yeah, that's good. But when he got that deal, he called me and he took me to Atlanta with him. Not Atlanta, I'm lying. We went to South by Southwest. Okay, in, in Austin. In Austin. And um, that's when I get there and it's like Rich the Kid, it's Migos, and it's like, I forget some of the other dudes that was there. Skipper the Flipper at this time, you know? And, it's, and then he has, he playing records for me and I hear moves. I'm like, this one, I'm hearing, I'm thinking this could work, but I'm also like just listening to songs and we just, so to see what that did, you know? Mm hmm after he was just bumping that song and I'm just listening to it and then it just, it went. Then that, I'm in Houston by song, myself and it starts, I'm waking up and it's playing. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just, and I'm like, you know, it just started to become real. Right. And he texts me, I'm like, dog, I've been to several places in Houston and they keep playing that record and it's like, all they just start to like feel real because that sense. man dedicated his life to like really making music work. 
Wow. You know, for I real. Always, I could feel it. I could feel it for because real. I could tell in his cadences, in the way that he was delivering this stuff. He, he put his heart into it. He, he, now, nah, he's ambitious too. He would just, because I love the music more than he loved the music. Yeah. But we call him, that's my, we call him Teddy. Okay. Teddy would, he would go to the studio and knock that shit out. He would say, the video gonna be so good. I'm having so much fucking fly shit. They gonna love that shit. It was kind of like, it was a game. An ambitious thought more so than like, I thought I wanted to make the fucking best music. <laughs> he and he like, man. It's a movement. It's exactly. And he understood that too. Cause you know, most of us love rapping. We, everybody rapped. Whether you got drunk and rapped or you just, everybody has yeah, rapped. Everybody has a style and they love it. But for somebody who wanna like pursue it, it's like, I'm gonna fucking have a press kit. I'm gonna have, you know, he was on that That's type of way. That's the whole way, game. Man. And you said something earlier yeah. about Birdman. That's why you felt like that about him. Because ambitious. Because of the movement, the yeah. way he was pushing the narrative. That's another reason why, and I hate to keep going back to Birdman, that's why I don't play about him. Because when I see a Drake, or when I see a Nicki Minaj, or when I see a Lil Wayne, I think about Slim and Baby. Mm -hmm. I think about the business heads. I think about what's going on on the behind scene that people not even caring to think about. Yes. You need all of those elements in order to make this work. And I think people don't really respect that part enough. They yeah. just see the they see the lights and the, you know everybody like, love the flashy lights mm -hmm. and they don't think about what's going on in the infrastructure. Yeah, I agree. So that's agree. important, man. So this young greatness dude was, was 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 he was before his time too. He had a movement down here. And and I hope somebody will record it like in a book or something to make it sure that it stays. I always say I'm the only one that could tell the story. Well that's I'm the one who was at the session. Nobody the who, else was there? Not as much as me. Like I mean, some people probably was there at times, but I was you there was from the beginning it. of it. From the beginning, till Moolah came out. So let me ask you a question: Where were you when you heard about him being killed? In the bed. Um, I got a call from um, um, a friend who lived in a gentilly area. He called me in the morning and he he told me what happened and I fucking get up and like, cause we always had our times of like friction, you know. Yeah, you know, so it's That's like brotherhood. Yeah, exactly. So it's like I couldn't believe that shit. So I got up. I'm, I just get out the bed. I'm like, what the fuck is this for real? Then my mama called me, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is for real, you know. So it was at the Waffle House. I remember the morning it happened. I remember hearing the news. But when you hear something like this, and it's so close to somebody to home, to home mm -hmm. not only home, but just. Being a part part of his life like that and his legacy, yeah. Um, do you? What do you? How do you just? How do you? How you process it? Mm. You see what I'm saying? I think about it a lot. I think about a lot. Of, lot I think about it from a lot of different Angles, ways. Yeah. I think sometimes I think crazy as it sounds, Teddy would prefer to go out swinging at, at for everything he want to fucking become. And he wouldn't have ever settled for anything less. I, you know, I, mean, I think he put it all on the line. I really do. So it's like, I don't see him not going all out in life. Or like, he, he would have had to like be running some shit, you know. Uh, uh, he, uh, he was going to have to be stopped. Like, he, he just that type of person. He just, he was never going to be an average person since he was a baby. He's just not like that. He just too, he wake up like, I'm going to like. Be great. Yeah, like for the real. The nigga name was Young Great. <laughs> what's the thing that you got from him um, with his journey? The things that you, you know, you were hanging with him so much. Yeah. What's the thing that um, you saw, you learned, and that's what you took and implemented it in your life and your journey? Yeah, I learned just that I said. I was always great with music and creativity. I'm an artist. Like, I, I'll make a, we'll write. I don't just, like, do music. I will like help formulate the, how the beat come in or I'll sit there with the producer and tell him damn near how this shit gonna go and I'll, I'll do the verse I'll arrange just tell him how I want it arranged so I'll just do what I want like so with all of that I, like I'll, I'll do a video I'll help direct it or I'll sit there with the videographer and say nah that's not right this is how I want that you know so I'm more of an artist he was more of a person who showed me that that's a mix of just being an artist and making this shit big. And I think it shifts my perspective from just, I could create something amazing today, but it's a different thing. And literally you could make something average do great. Yeah, that's right. 
if you have the the it factor, the it factor, or just the or just the confidence in that, are you gonna just are you gonna just be more enthusiastic about that? You could just mm-hmm. be like, no, this song might be average to you, but if you rap it hard enough in front of enough people, what, and you believe it's great, they themselves start believing this. It's dude, great. <laughs> you know, I saw that. You know, like yeah. That's why we rock like on Boss Talk like we do. <laughs> Yeah. It's the same thing, pushing the narrative and being consistent. Yeah. But um, that morning when you heard about it, you know, and, and after that, um, just going through life, like, did, did they, they arrested somebody. But was it, I mean, was it a beef that was literally going on that, that the streets knew about? Or was it just some random people that just, because some people get caught slipping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he got money. Like, I'm the type of nigga you got to move different because you mm-hmm. know niggas watching because, they know you the nigga in the city with it. Or is it a situation where it was some people, enemies or something that, that or was it random? Because it was early in the morning, right? It was at night. Well, it was it's at in night. the morning. Yeah, yeah, in the morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Um, yeah, because you, you and him wasn't talking before this. We always talk, okay. but we always but don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, you know, yeah. we always talk and we always don't talk, you know? Yeah. Cause he has strong personality. It's like, and he talk a lot like bitch. Like he talk like that, like bitch. And I'd be like, somebody could have you talking to. Like, <laughs> you think just, he could have came off wrong to the wrong person? I have no idea. It just it wasn't nothing that you could have ever seen coming. Is what I'm trying to figure out. If he wasn't the type, like I got niggas in the streets that you know if something happened to him, like that nigga was one that always was into something. But then I have also niggas that something happened to that that shit. They got the wrong guy. He ain't even about like that. I mean, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. I don't. I don't know. He wasn't. Was he a? Person he wasn't who, a person who. He wasn't. He was my my homie. So it was, he was never like somebody who would do no shit. Or it's like you with him and you think he gonna bust a nigga head or something. You never. It's never that situation. That's what I'm talking he kinda about. Cool. But I don't know. I got niggas that, that I mean, you know, with me that are same time he talk to shit. It. He talk his shit. People talk shit. People. I don't. I don't know the situation. Yeah, I'm yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. I, don't, but, I literally but, but, don't I know. I get it. I get it. I'm just saying. <laughs> in, 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 because in, you don't know what the streets were saying. You don't know what who was there. That you know the word yeah. got around. So we we, we just. We don't I mean, I have sure. thoughts, but I don't. I don't like to speculate. So I don't. No, know. you can't. Yeah, really you don't speak know. Yeah, you can't speak on thoughts. But my thing is like like I got niggas like that really be in them streets like that's always into something now nah, he ain't that he not like that now nah, you see what i'm saying Man, then like it's niggas that's like damn they pull this card too fast you know what i yeah. mean like it's, it's certain uh certain people that that are just great people and and that the devils are looking to try to figure out a way to take them out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and people know when you're doing good, man. People, you, the more you go up, the more the haters come. The mm-hmm. more, and that's just the way it is, man. I hate that, bro. I hate it because there's some good people that is leaving here too fast, bro. Yeah. You know I what agree. I'm saying? I like the young doll for all these people, man. These good artists, you know, but they, but these streets take them fast, bro. Yeah. So what what did you think about uh um. What did you think about like 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 far as the city when the music kind of cause now the Lil Wayne them they 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 in Florida right they're not here yeah it's not here no nobody's here that's that was was the like everybody in Atlanta Florida um, upstate somewhere whatever mm-hmm. you know but now you here yeah what's what are we doing well, we right now we about to run the town that's that's what we are doing right now. I, I, I look forward to putting out music, man. I not in the keep a G, man. I I really want Kel for us to just unleash this shit because I think we got it. I know we got it. It's about us unleashing at this point. So I'm just pushing for him to. I told him the other day. I'm like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> he just he trying to pull it we when got he it. feel the bullet. Right, we got when it. it's right. It's never the right time. It's gonna be the right. You're gonna always think it over, and it's gonna be, you know. Let's go. I'm ready. Like I, we got so much ammo. It's just like let's go. Now you know, so I re- that's what that's the thing we pushing for we pushing run the town to come out. From now I want to flood. So yeah. you think you 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 think you uh, you think you got what is going what's going to make it move like that? Yeah, doubt a doubt. Yes. Okay, I've been having that because <laughs> I, I I I I listened to um, Project Barbie earlier. Yes, um, that's your label mate. Yeah. Uh, I listened to. Um, uh, I mean, you know, I always talk to KL, and I, I see the energy, man. And and I, 
I pray for success. Yeah. I pray that the success continues because mm -hmm. working with him is a whole nother level as well. This yeah. guy has been producing ever since before you was even thought of. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So how is it to work with Kale? It's I love music, man. So I, I expect it to be better than he expected it to be. When okay. I get in there, I, I think, you know, when he first, I remember his first reaction. I had a record called Duffy. I don't know if you heard the song. Yeah. Put in Paco, Trust Club, Duffy. When I saw him playing that song, I knew that he felt just how I felt about it when I was doing it or when I created it. What'd you say when he heard that song, when he heard Duffy, what happened? He was reacting like I reacted when I felt that energy. I knew how good that is. You know, Who produced so, that song? Fest of Full Pack along with KL. KL was more so in post-production on that. Okay. But um, when I did that, I knew. Like, it wasn't no, he, I don't need him to validate it. Like, it's like, I know this is fire, you know? And and, and, that, and it is what it is. Yeah, like, I, I love the music, so I don't need, with respect to the big homie KL, I don't need anybody to tell me it's good. I know it's good. Really? <laughs> when it's good, yeah. So, hold on, but, all right, because everybody who has a love for something we're all human beings. Mm -hmm. Have you ever found yourself at a time in your point, in, point in time in your life that you're like, I don't know if I love this anymore. This is getting too stressful. I can't really deal with it. Music? Yeah. No. Hell no. Because everybody find no matter how much you love something, it can I never get came stressing. in it. I never came in it to be successful, like in rap. I just loved music. So then it became, let's make it work. You know, it's like to make music for me is like I do that. That's like nothing. You know, I, I'm great at that. But sometimes so. it can take the love away because when I say that, because you're good and then the better you get and people, the more people start to love you, the bigger you get. Yeah. And with the, the popularity and that success yeah. comes other things that can also make you like, you know, what? I like it. I mean, I love everything that comes with uh, allowing my music to go further, me to create more. If, you let, if it allows me that, my perspective is going to be, this is great. Anything that comes with you being able to do something that you would do for free, it's like, that's fire, you know? Mm -hmm. Give me everything that comes with, because that's what I would enjoy doing. I mean, I would take anything to do what I love doing. I mean, it's just, it's like, um, I don't know, it's just like, just your hobby. What's your end point with your, with your music? Like, what do you want your music to do? I know you, people say to touch people, but if, if that is it, in what way? My first goal, I'm going to say, to be specific, Yeah. I want to put out a classic project. That's, that's what I want to do. I want to put out a project that you're going to bump and you're going to be like, man, that shit was like, that was, I was running that and that was like, duh, that, that took me through this or that. That was man, I could play that today. Uh, anytime that come on, you know, I like I want to do something like that. So my main, my goal would be to make sure I, I do that, I get that done. Wow, yeah, I think that's important that you understand that that creates a legacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How hard is it to do something like that though? For me, I think it's easy. Then why you ain't done it yet? It's about the timing and the promotion of it. We've done albums and we've done music. We haven't put we haven't put a focus in on that yet, and I don't think it's the timing yet for it. We're gonna, we're gonna have singles coming. It's gonna come to the point where we got that. You know, I, I know I can do that. It's just about kind of put like dialing back to what my brother taught me. It's about playing this thing out and dropping singles and getting that going. But we, you know, I, when I drop that type of a bomb that have that type of effect, I know I could do that. But now we're in the business route. <laughs> we taking yeah. we taking these steps into that. I could go cook that up, but it's not, they're not prepared for that right now. Yeah. That's why we don't run the town. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got you to gotta make sure you deliver correctly and you have yes. everything lined out correctly. Yeah, we can't drop an album right now. It's like not time. We got to drop this. We're dropping a single. Yeah. 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 So do you feel like, um, I know you said, uh, when you listen to, and I got, because I, I, loved, I loved his music and I loved his movement the, it, as, as short as it was, when you sit back and listen to that young greatness now that he's not here with us no more, how does that make you feel? I do it all the time. That's what I'm thinking. I do it all the time. Because that's how you can kind of reach that place. That, that he was at. That's right. That's exactly what I, yeah. 
So like I do it all the time And I, I think just like that When I'm listening to it I'm like man What was he at in his head What was he And more so with greatness It ain't so much the words But I take the tone from him Yeah Tonality Yeah it's his tone You could tell how he feel more from a tone Than like the words Cause He don't really c- Care as much about the words As he care about his the expression Yeah yeah You yeah, know yeah. if that makes sense I make a lot of sense Yeah so When I And I go back into it it make me feel like being average is worse than not being here. Wow. You know, that's what I be getting from. And he'd be like, being average is the worst thing ever. You might as well go all out. Uh, all right, it's just going to be a wasted existence if you're going to play an average life. And that's yeah, true. Yeah, because, I mean, you're not putting 100% of your potential. Yeah, then it's boring. Life is stale. And it's like, it's just, it's not what it is. You Ain't know? so crazy because you're so laid back. You are you have this personality that's just laid back. Don't seem like you're, you, you know. You see it when you go into the studio. The music. You see when it when you I think because I music. think so much, I don't like to like, it's hard to talk all the time because it's like, like shit, Unless man. it's with the music. Uh, or unless it's like some type of conversation that we get going, but. I'm such a thinker, I would sit back and just listen a lot. Because I'm like, I'm already having <laughs> all of my own thoughts. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's so, just, let me just chill and listen to you. <laughs> so how many songs do you have with him? I, I couldn't count that. I mean, we, we, we literally spent That are months. out. None do you have, do you have None of them nothing. Why? Zero. Because that was the process of us, like, honing in on music and creation. So we would make so these songs to the play songs? for ourselves. And... We would do it to work on it. And some of the songs are so terribly mixed and yeah, but we were you can go back and remix them. Mm. We were so yeah, we was doing these things. Can't you? It's hard because of the way they recorded it. Yeah, but we, we but it, it was good though because it was just practice. It's how we kind of got got it got better like a skill thing. See, I said listening at his project, but you got other music that you listen to. Now I listen to the projects. You don't have the other music. I, I have songs on my computer, but I don't listen to that. Because it was like amateur work to me. Yeah. It, it, ain't, it ain't mixed right. It was just like... But you know that project was the one. The one he put out. That. That's the music I listen to, yeah. 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 Okay, I get it, yeah. man. So, when you... When it, when, okay, you showed me a video earlier. Are we able to talk about that or no? Yeah, it's running the town. It's Cause, coming. Because he told me... Yeah, he told me that y'all done it. Mm-hmm. Um, run the town when y'all done it it looks so exciting i know everybody hadn't seen it yet yeah. it looks like fantastic it makes you want to be there yeah the production is right yeah. and it makes you have a good time it gives you that real louisiana feel yeah it it, it gives you the new orleans like the whole you feel to get a dose of what's going on in new orleans now yep that's what it does yeah see i'm laid back right now and i get on stage it's not like that <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how often are you are you doing shows though we haven't done a lot of shows as of late because I was literally working. Yeah, and I was so focused on doing what I ultimately want to do, which is kind of created that I'm trying to get the people to. But we're going to start when Run the Town drops. We, we, that's when we're going to begin to start to do some things like perform again, you know? Yeah. When Duffy was running, I was performing a lot, you know? Yeah. And um, as of late, we kind of dialed back and I was like, um, out of sight and I was in my cave and we got to like working you know and we got some stuff man make sure you record um, when you look at um, just um, what has KL told you or said to you I know you said that you hard on yourself in so many words yeah. but what has is something that he said to you that really really helped you a lot he said you do things or songs I wish we could have done at No Limit. <laughs> wow, that, that's motivation. Say that one. You say what? You he, probably, he might not even remember saying it, but I know he You heard it. it. What did he say? He said, you do stuff on records that I wish people could have done on No Limit. Wow. You know? How does that make you feel? Motivated to work on the craft and continue to. Wow. He's, it's, it's more so like confirmation on what I do believe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, man. I like it. And we're in a different time now. Mm-hmm. So to be in the time we are now, um, the things that he did in No Limit, the, in the time that he did it, may not even be the same uh, 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 impact because of the way that things are moving now. Back during that time, it was a cassette video, you know, maybe a video here or there. 
You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But now, because of the way the digital world is, and the way that people are dropping music, and the way that people are, are pretty much visualizing the music that's being dropped, mm -hmm. it's a whole different level of how it's gonna hit you and impact you. So when you say packaging it up, I really understand where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. Because the delivery, literally, I feel like in music, and you may not agree with this, because a lot of people don't, a lot of people do, I just feel like when the project come, man, it gotta be like it was when Cash Money did it to where everybody, and Young Money did it, where it just keep going. This movement of the music, in order to get the people to believe it, you gotta have so many consecutive, consistent things going on so that people can really vibe to it and see your movement so that they can understand and grasp who you really are. I agree. You agree with I that, agree right? One hundred percent. Because that's what matters. It's just yeah. you said the, the delivery, but the delivery has to be so impactful and, and and so so powerful that it consistently go all the way out to like the end of twenty twenty two. Yes. All the way up into twenty twenty three. Yeah. I'm being real. Yeah. Because of the way that people are seeing people on the internet, that's oversaturated with crap. Mm hmm. When something real hit it, it can knock it out the box. That's what I'd be saying. I'd be like, Man. "Am I right?" I, I I believe what you're saying is true. Okay. I believe what you're saying is real. Man, it's like that's why Duffy would did what it did because yeah. it was like it, it it was so different. And I break all the rules when I create like that. People told me you can't have a record with three sixteens and the climate we in the day. They said. I had to come in with a hook first. It just was all these rules, rules. Of, of, of creativity. And I'm like, I did. I, I didn't do nothing they said. And this shit was better than all the shit they was talking about. That's it. That's yeah. it. That means you know you, you have self-awareness. Yeah. I feel the music. I don't, I, you know, I'm into it. Like, I feel the music. I don't literally make it a... I don't formula. I don't have a formula like I'm gonna do a hook and I'm gonna do this and I just fill it out and it and it kind of gets me. I know what I need to do where and I like it. I follow that direction. Yeah. yeah. Do you um top three artists of all time, dead or alive? You told me that. Que I hate that question. I don't give a damn. <laughs> that's how. I, that's we ask every single person. Any genre. Any genre. Shit, dead or alive. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. You should have been thinking any about number one. Yes. Any genre. Number Man, I'm one. I'm going to change my mind on this a hundred times in my life. But t today, number one. On today, my favorite artist of all time is BG. Hot boy BG. That's my guy right there, man. <laughs> That's for today. That, that, <laughs> number two? That don't talk to me killed it. Don't talk to me with Kel? Yeah. No, no. That don't talk That's to Kel me. That's on that beat. No. Yeah. I got to talk to him about that. I would have played it when he was at the <laughs> store. You know I would have played it. Are you serious? Yeah, that's Kel. Damn, I'm supposed to knew that. I don't want your beats. I fuck with medicine, man. You yeah. Said, What's up? <laughs> that's Kel. <laughs> number two. Favorite artist of all time. Yeah. My number two favorite artist of all time. Any genre. We went rap. We said, wait, who I said first? I said BG first. Uh, second. Favorite artist of all time. Shit, man. I hate this question. <laughs> number two. Fuck, I'm going to just say some off the wall shit. I'm going mystical. Don't forget. Okay. Hey, that boy, that's serious, though. When that hey, boy start rapping, I, he get crunk like a truck. Like a, like, that nigga yeah. be going in, man. Damn, I, I'm saying that because it's important for people to remember what mystical meant. And I think people don't. They forget. They forget. What did he mean? Come on, man. That man was a monster, man. That man was one of the best artists rapping. Definitely from New Orleans, we definitely don't give him the respect he deserved. Exactly. He he was definitely one of the best rappers in the 90s. Definitely in the South. Yeah. And everybody Hold it down that. for the South. I think a lot of people know it. I'm glad people you saying that because I, I don't know about I'm an older cat. You know, yeah. and I'm living somewhere else and I just know he one of those guys that when you really, really, you got to understand T.I. remade his song. Like, it's certain people that remade his, his songs, man, yeah. that, that respected and you know they respected it. Yeah. And then you got to realize he was running around with No Limit and then he came back and he jumped over there and handled it with, with cash money a little bit. He just showing you I'm from New Orleans. And right I now, think that's the part that niggas, they know, nigga. Everybody know. Yeah. I feel like my list is the most slept on New Orleans artists right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's the number three? Cannot, Let's go. I cannot keep this going. Since we're going this direction already, I'm going to keep it New Orleans and I'm going to just say Spitter. Spinner. <laughs> okay, what is it? A spinner that drops this. Spitter, currency, spitter. Currency? Yeah. He was kind of like. Since we go in this spitter, direction. I didn't know his name. Spitter. spitter. I didn't know that. Look, 
I know currency. Yeah, yeah. That nigga laid back, like real laid back. He is, he is. But like, I, I just wanted to give some dude steroids. Where the hell is we he don't at? Get it. He here, he from there. I know, where is he at now? He here. That nigga supposed to come do a Boss Talk 101 interview. I need to hit that nigga, man. We got a record. I hope Kale let us put it out. Really? Yeah. Man, I need to talk to this guy, man. I'm going to hit you him up. You think that record go hard? Uh, who had, it, the, who it, had it, the best verse? I'm not doing that one. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the man came to the studio, and I didn't think he was really going to do it, and he, he told me the time he was going to be there. He pulled up, done his verse, came through. That's what's... That's what's that's love. You know, off the love. It's a while back, but it was just... The name of the song is It's Love. Oh, that's <laughs> wild, man. That is love. That nigga fly, boy. Yeah. I love his style. I remember when he was popping, it, was some, it either had to be some videos, it was some footage of him in the hood or somewhere, and it was showing, and I, I seen that in, in his movement. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it was some visual that showed me some behind the scenes on yeah. currency. The internet, don't kill me for my top three list. I know y'all gonna go crazy on that shit. <laughs> I know when I said it, y'all was gonna be like, "What the what? fuck?" What? Nah, I'll give a damn. Mr. Goo, VG, really? Yeah, like, currency. Ever, nigga, we like, in New Orleans, man. Nigga, respected, nigga, nigga. Have you ever heard Andre rap? They go, people gonna say that shit in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. I, I just wanted them to get some shine. All right, it's all good, man. So it's all love. So, uh, man, we love you, bro. Thank you for coming on the show. Did we miss anything? I did most of the talking this one. I ain't gonna lie, because I love when he said what took it over. Was I didn't see the connection to Young Greatness. I didn't watch nothing. I, yeah. I didn't know that. I know. And I you know. gotta understand. I, I that's realize my, that. that's, a that's my guy, bro. Yeah. Like, like when the, nobody was checking for him like me yeah. around me. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? It's just certain people. I love music, so when I connect to something, I don't care what nobody. Like, if I connect with you, I'm fine. I don't, I don't care if you got one follower, nigga. I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. when I heard that song. And I started listening and I said, this dude got it. What yeah. was the first song? Um, that movie. That, 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 that's the that one. The the one, that, one. Yeah, that's the one they was trying to punch caught, in our that's face. That's the first one that caught, yeah. They caught. And when, they, when, they, when, I, when it hit, I didn't, everything else he done was going to ride, I was going to ride with it anyway. Mm -hmm. Some of them was a little slower tempo and all that, but I didn't care. That song showed me this nigga good at this. That's mm -hmm. what it was. Mm -hmm. And after that, it didn't matter what he done. I was going to follow it anyway because I know once you do something like that, you can't miss. A lot of niggas, though, they'll do a song, then they'll change their style. and they. I don't like that, but that's just me. That's personal. I, I, some niggas switch it up too much for me. I think a nigga's yeah. music should be like Money Man. Money Man just done the same when he did his first run. Yeah. That whole album, the cadences were sounding the same. The beats was changing. But I but, say it get older and they evolve. No, no, he shit. changed it now. Right. But I'm just saying that first, I'm talking about the first project. Yeah. You, you don't want to confuse the people that you, and I feel like that project that Young Greatness did was all that and then some. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, if did we leave anything out? Mm -hmm. We left out Paco Trash Club coming, run the to town to be out soon. Hey, um, how can we how can we find it? What can we hey, look, what can find you at? You can first of all go here, Duffy, Paco Trash Club Duffy. For sure. Start with Duffy, run the to town to be out soon, but. Come to my page, man. Follow me on everywhere on IG, Twitter, YouTube. Is it and just get a load of Duffy. Paco, That's the greatest uh, what new is, what's video the handle? all the time. How do we get to it? I mean, F of Wild Wayne said. <laughs> How do you get to Paco, like on the Instagram? Paco what, Trust Club, P A C O okay. T R O X C L A I R. Okay. Paco Trust Club, yeah. Man, thank you so much, man. Yeah. We love you, bro. I enjoyed you. Love, I spent more time with you than anybody else down here. Okay, so, that's, that's what's up. You know that, right? That like, I, ain't, I don't know nobody, so I'm down here like just finding nigga, okay, we're right here. Right? <laughs> so we rocking with you, man. That's what's up. Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we have.